What about um, salvation? Well, I've already illustrated that, but I'll give it anyway. Acts 13, 48, when the Gentiles heard this, they began rejoicing and glorifying the word of the Lord, and as many as were appointed to eternal life believed. As many as were appointed to eternal life believed. So clearly God has chosen who's going to believe. So they, they say, why pray? I mean, if there's predestination, if, if God has chosen who's going to believe, why pray? And the answer is, that's the way he gets the nails in the board. Why would you, why would you drop out? Why would you not want to be used? Why would you not want to be a part of the causality of salvation? Why wouldn't you want the significance of someday being thanked by a saved person that your prayer was the 1,080th prayer of mom and dad and you that broke through? Why wouldn't you want to be a part of that? It's so, I want to say evil. I'll just say thoughtless of people to say that because he ordains what comes to pass, he doesn't use means as essential. Essential. If you don't use the hammer, the nail won't go in. And that's not a compromise of the sovereignty of God. 